Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is day... Oh, this is the first day, isn't it? Whoops. First day of the March Lico Day Challenge. Does that mean there's a weekly as well? Yep. So we'll be doing both today. Uh, if you're joining me just for this month, uh, well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we have a long streak going. I don't even know what it is anymore. Uh, but we have a long streak going, so definitely we'll keep that going over a thousand days. Uh, so we'll try to do everyone this week or this month or whatever and keep going. Uh, today I actually finally have a lot of, well, knock on wood, I have more energy than I did yesterday, so we'll see. Uh, it feels like it's been a long time. Um, I think at some point maybe I'll talk about it because it's actually kind of a, a wild story, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's very mundane, but, uh, but hopefully... Um, you know things are looking up and we'll see how that goes uh <laughs> biology and physiology is such an interesting thing but anyway uh let's take a look at today's problem uh why didn't i load this also let me take a look i feel like i have it oh nice so sometimes uh, especially if you're new here um you see me click on contest not because i'm main eh, maybe a little bit but you can also see that uh on the upper left I don't know if I'm pointing the right way, but anyway, there's a claim secret reward. If you click on it, you get 10 lead coins. And if you get enough lead coins, you could get a t-shirt, I think, uh, or a premium or whatever. So eh, eh, why not get free points? I don't know if you're doing it anyway, right? I'm told that every like it's consistent, but I, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if you don't have it, um, because I'm just curious whether like everyone gets it in the same area, or is it just like by user? Hmm. In any case, let's see. 912 sort in a way. So... It's a medium problem, we give it an array of nums and then you try to sort it without any built-in function. Okay, so I mean I think there are a couple of ways you can do it and um, yeah, and I'm just taking a look at N just in case. Um, these, I, I think, one. let me tell a little bit of a uh, context, I mean, you know, I mean, if you're here, you probably, you could just Google this, right? So, so I think my value is just telling a little bit of a story. Um, for something like this, I think, or maybe not this particular problem, but I get this question a lot where like people think that I am just here memorizing everything, right? And you know, maybe my skill is memorizing everything. And and of course, with you know ChatGPT and in general, just Google even before that, uh, it's not really that useful in your way, right? Um, for me, it's not necessary about memorizing all these algorithms. And you know, there's bubble sort, insertion sort, selection sort. Um, Merge sword, quick sword, etc. And a couple of those are n square, um, and they all have different properties that are good for different reasons. And the one that my favorite is the one that C plus plus use, which is um, intro sword, um, introspective sword. There's also um, heap sword, obviously, uh, which you use heap a lot. And then there's also um, uh, some randomized one like skip list sword, right? Uh, skip sword hmm, something like that so there are a lot of them um but i think the the reason why there are a lot of these you know they taught they, they all teach these sorting algorithms in comsci is not necessary because well i mean one is it is true that sorting is a very fundamental thing you do it for, uh, for everything and it's probably like the most ubiquitous thing that you may do right like you know you look at a uh, list of data that's sorted so that we can have some sort of some sort of structure and stuff like this right um but also because, you know, there, there are so many algorithms because they all kind of um, teach uh, a concept, right? Um, the way, for example, there, there, there's divide and conquer. And even divide and conquer, there's two different ways. There's quick sort, and then there, uh, which also, you know, is divide and conquer, but also introduce a probabilistic alg uh, 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 um property right that you know th there could be worst case and then you you can also you know do a uh, um, median of three period and stuff like this and then analyze it that way right um the, uh, merge sort is obviously just you know um yeah um mm, which one do we want to do today uh it does say the smallest space complexity possible so i think one one benefit about using quick sort is that if you are, mm, is it though? Mm, I don't know. Because depending on how you want to call stack space, uh, you know, it could be linear in the worst case in the in the stack space. If you have n square time and n space, 
Um, and you know, just to, also just to be clear, I don't memorize these. I'm just analyzing in my head, right? So yeah, I mean, there are a couple of things you can do, um, and there are a couple of things you can do in place. Um, but I'm not going to do that. It's too unnecessary complicated. If you really want to re read up on it, feel free to. I think my favorite sword is actually merge sword uh, to implement. Sorry, because uh, as I said earlier, my favorite sorting is actually intro sword. And the reason why I like intro sword, and you can do this at home too, actually, if you really want, is that it's uh, it's a. Let me actually write it out because I, I think it's p something that people know uh, know about more, but it's still not. As much as I would like, I guess, my introspective sort. And basically, the idea there is that the basically the idea there is that um, you know you take the things. Um, basically, you take you you think about all these sorting algorithms and you take the worst case scenario and then you minimize it. Right. That's basically the idea. Um, I actually don't remember the. I mean, I know that it uses quick sort, and it, and if quick sort is f fast enough, meaning that it doesn't go that deep in the recursive stack, meaning that if it gets close to the end square, then it, it changes to another sort. Then it you can uh, there's a constant that you could bound it by um, with respect to n that allows you to kind of bound it to n log n, right? I believe it goes. Um, Quick sort because quick sort has the lowest overhead for most average cases, um, and then you have, um, I believe it goes to heap sort, um, maybe merge sort. Hmm. Don't actually remember this. It's been a while. Um, but then on the lowest level, it actually uses an n square sort, right? Um, so, uh, selection. No, the selection or ins. Hmm. I do insertions. No, it should be selection sort. Either selection sort or insertion sort. By the way, it uses like uh, an n square algorithm when n is like 16 or something that fits into memory very easily, uh, uh, low level cache memory. Um, and the reason is because it uses the fewest swaps or something like this, right? So they are definitely, um, and the fewest pass or, or something, I forget what, what they optimize for, but it, it optimizes for memory locality, um, which I believe. You know, so yeah, so there are a lot of stuff like this that you can play around with. But for me, uh, the the go to sort that I uh, write from scratch is going to be a merge sort. Wow, I've been talking for about seven minutes. <laughs> Hopefully, you're still here. If you're still here, let me know what you think about. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, what, what's your favorite uh, gym exercise? If you're still here, let me know in the comments, and I'll give you some like mental props. Uh, much love, but yeah, but the one that I actually like to implement is um, merge sort because it comes into play a, a couple of few different times, but also it's just like a very fundamental divide and conquer, right? You have left, right, and then you know this divide and conquer comes a lot in in other things, um, notably dynamic programming and um, uh, but also um, you know maybe binary search to a certain degree, depending on how you implement it, and also uh, what's the other big thing that I actually in my head but then I forgot. Uh, what did I, what was I going to say? Huh. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Inversions counting, right? That's one thing that, uh, which is not, it doesn't come up that much. It only really comes up in competitive programming. So, but it is a thing that allow it's a, it's a thing that lets you kind of do it that way, right? So, okay. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> Let's get started then. Uh, merge sort is what I'm going to do. So then maybe I have a merge component. We have a left, right. And let me clearly define this as inclusive bounds, right? Um, so now we're just going to return an array that, um, let me just write it out, return a, 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 a list or an array, whatever. An array, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, if left is equal to right, then we just return. Um, oh, hmm. How do we represent this? Maybe left right isn't necessarily good enough. Hmm. Mm, how do I usually write this? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, let's just say rub in a way, right? Maybe, maybe we'll do it this way. I mean, you could write this in a number of ways, but. Um, I was trying to think about maybe I want to do it in place, but then it, it, it's a little bit messy, possibly. So in any case, yeah, uh, if length of array is less than 
one, then we just return away. Otherwise, uh, n is equal to length of array, so we don't need this technically. Um, because technically, this is merge sort. Uh, this is more Pythonic. But, uh, right? Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, and then. So, yeah, so then now you have left half is equal to merge sort of um, array going to n over 2, and then right is equal to merge sort array of uh, n over 2 to the rest, and then now we just, uh, yeah. This is actually, recently I would put it in a deck uh, or a queue, and then just pop from the left, but, you know, it's fine. So let, let's do it. Uh, so, mm, Let's just say it, i is uh, well i is equal to j is equal to zero while i is less than length of left and j is less than length of right. Uh, what, oh man, my my computer is telling me to restart and update stuff. What is it trying to update anyway? I'm just curious. Uh, just general OS stuff. Uh, I mean, uh, please don't hack me before I update it. Apparently, it's a security update. Uh, okay, so yeah, um, yeah. If left of i is greater than or equal to, or uh, if less than or equal to right of i, I forgot to kind of put in answer. Um, then answer dot append left of i, and oh, whoops, jeez, and then i increment by one. Continue. Um, else, then enter the pen, uh, write sub j, j increment by one. I guess I don't need to contain you if I write it like this, but uh, yeah. And then, of course, you have to kind of uh, get the rest of it. So while i is length of left, um, enter the append left sub i. And this is the merge portion, obviously. I, I guess I could have mentioned that earlier. Yeah, uh, what is it called? Numps. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's going to be linear extra space. Um, how did I do last time? I'm curious. Did I use merge sort? <laughs> I, I was lazy last time, apparently. <laughs> but why did I do that? I don't remember. But uh, in any case, yeah. Um, I mean, you know the complexity. It's going to be n log n and all of n space. Um, I mean, there are a lot of like stack stuff, but this m Mm, yeah, I mean, I guess it's actually n log n space because there's log n stacks, uh, each of it n space. Though, though you should also like if you do uh, maximum space usage, you would reclaim all the space anyway. So at any uh, and at at peak time, it will just be linear space. So depending on how you want to count it, uh, n log n time linear space, and that's all I have for this one. Stay tuned for the weekly one. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, you know. Come join the Larry Gang or whatever. I don't know. That that sounds really. I don't know. You need to come up with a better name. But yeah, let's let's, let's do this month together. Um. Yeah. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. I'll see y'all later. And take care. Bye bye.